Hey guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. This is the Mark Rober UV Glow Wall. Check it out. I could draw from a distance just with this UV laser. I could also take a bigger UV light, such as this UV flashlight that I have right here, and actually make stronger glow patterns on it. Now the lights are still on, but I'm gonna shut all the lights off. We have a giant camera flash right there that I'm gonna use to just flash the paper as I dive through it, as we do all sorts of cool poses and pictures. And Mark Rober did this actually, so I wanted to see if I could actually make it. Here's a clip of Mark Rober's video so you'll get an idea of what I'm trying to do. much fun. Let me show you from the start how I unpacked it, how I put it up, and how I actually used it. At the end of the video, I'm gonna use these pens to draw, or try to draw on it. And again, don't forget, hit subscribe, guys. We are heading to one million, and I hope we get there soon, so click it. All right, let's get to the beginning of the video, even though this was the beginning of the video, let's get to the beginning of how to make that. Let's go. What's cool is I have these two black lights. I have a black light laser, as you saw, and I, you saw it just right there. And I have a black light torch light. I'm gonna shut the light and see what it does. Let me shut my computer light too. It's dark. Wow, it's glow. Look how bright that is. I'm gonna shine the laser. That is awesome, guys. That is sick. I'm shining the laser on it from a distance. Now I'm gonna take my black light torch and go close to it. That is wild. That is epically cool. Now I'm gonna take, let me show you what I have here. I'm afraid to do this directly at the camera lens because it's gonna be so bright. Let's see, the whole thing will glow now after I shoot it with this giant light. Three, two, one. Wow, it literally took away almost every mark on it. Let's go closer and get it. It's going to be so super cool. Let me just on the wall. Look at this side. It's like lighting up the background. Look at that. It's like the moon. All right, let's get the lights back on and put that on. I'm excited about it. It's going to be amazing. And the height is actually perfect. flash at it and we'll see if those images the chair the drill the ferris wheel and the pillow is it glowing it is glowing it's glowing already but it's gonna go glow a heck of a lot brighter now three two one The wall is done. Now I need a camera flash, I need laser pointers, I need laser stars, I need silhouettes, I need CJ, I need soft things to be thrown on, I need poster boards so we can cut stuff out, put it on the board, and I need to learn how to draw. This is gonna be impossible. Oh, sick. 
that was cool. Now, I want to show you, like I said earlier, I want to show you how I'm going to draw on it and use my laser pens and my laser lights to draw it out. I need to get all the lights off because otherwise it's not going to glow that much. It's a glow wall, guys. So you need UV light because if you don't have UV light, it's just not going to work that well. My eyes feel red, but I guess they're not that red. I guess I can take them off. No. Wow, look at those bags in there. Wow, I need to sleep. All right, we're gonna finish this video. See, all better, bags are gone. All right, where were we? That's what happens when you're overtired and you're rambling on. I'm about to shut the lights. I have this cool app. It's the Ulight, welcome to the year 2000, what are we, 2007 now? And you, had, you could actually control your lights from your phone, besides for that one which I don't have that as a phone app. How awesome is that? And three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Where'd you guys go? Check out the glow wall. It is glowing. It is gl doing what a glow wall should do. All right, I'm gonna turn the light on for a second. This light right here, this is a regular flashlight. Let me show you what it does to the wall. So it's just a big, bright, wide light. Can I even short? I cannot shorten it. So if you go close to it, if you go up close, it'll glow. Watch when I shut the light off. It's glowing. But I mean, you literally have to be right up close to it to really get it to glow bright. See that? Now, the other light that I have, this UV light right here. I put the light on so you guys could see. This UV light right here, it's actually a strobe UV light also is gonna do a much better job. Check this out. When we get close, look Look at the trail it leaves. How sick. How, how awesome. And even as I back up, it's still glowing. But it's just, it's so cool. Let me put the strobe feature on so you guys can see, whoa. So you guys can see what it looks like as it's strobing. It just leaves, it's like that game Slither IO. That's cool, you can play Slither IO on a glow wall, sort of. If you have two, two people with two lights. And the coolest part that I think, where'd the laser go? Here it is. A UV laser, guys. You could actually draw on the wall from a distance. Well, you would have to know how to draw, but yeah, you could draw on the wall from a distance. Check that out. That is awesome. That is in incredible I guess it's not so good for letters but you could actually make pictures and like you saw Mark Rober made ET and a kite you could we could draw like a kite we could draw can we draw a kite that's like a box kite yeah there it is and the person over here that's getting electrocuted or zapped from the lightning like Mark Rober did in his video. This looks just as, oh man, this looks so much better than anything that he drew. This is like art. This should go in a museum. I actually will call a museum tomorrow and arrange for them to pick that up. All right, all seriousness though, in all seriousness, this is awesome. Get yourself some glow paper. You don't have to go to Alibaba, like the link that I put in the description below, but that's where I got it from. I spent $500 for I don't know, a lot of feet, like 10 times the amount that I have over here. And you could you could do all sorts of things. You could cut it, you could make any shape you want, you could cut letters out. I just hot glued it to like a post hard poster board, and these are actually just poster boards. So three, and yeah, a lot of fun. And you could, if you could put it in your room, you could lay in bed at night and just draw on the wall, play tic-tac-toe, so many things you could do with it. It's, it's just, it's cool, and it works, and you could have fun, like I said. All right, coming up tomorrow, another awesome video, I'm hoping to get out. And then after that is gonna be another awesome video, so you guys definitely don't wanna miss it. Welcome to my chill club, science club down here. And yeah, this is where we're gonna be. So comment below, let me know what you wanna see. We're gonna try, don't scream, don't scream, ah. Okay, not too bad, again. I guess it was just the lighting before. Better. All right, guys, I hope that you stay incredible and lots of cool announcements coming up. Can't wait to see you guys. Well, you're seeing me. I always say that. Can't wait to see you guys again. I will say it there. Um, I don't know what you're waiting for. Click subscribe. It's somewhere around your screen. 
and I would really appreciate it. That's pretty much it. 2 a.m. So CJ's not here with me to end this video, but he will hopefully be in the next one. So stay incredible. Peace out. Well, darling, on my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden.